My name is Michael Stout and I'm an information security professional and ethical hacker trainer. Well, I've been a hacker all my life, uh, going back to the 80s, I grew up in California, uh, but I've been practicing uh, information security in Europe for the last 20 years. One of the things that uh, I noticed is that during the recession, uh, there was never a slowdown for the need for certified ethical hackers. We often say that to, uh, to be the hacker, you have to be a hacker. Giving them those skills and the knowledge of how hackers do their trade, an ethical hacker is able to go into their organization and view the system uh, from the perspective of someone who wants to do harm to the system and therefore fix the system before they can get to it. My name is Amir Garai and I'm a senior test consultant at a company called Amido and we provide all sorts of um, um, consultancy to various clients. Taking this course allows me to understand the security aspects of um, what we have to deal with on a day-to-day -day -day basis. It gives me the foundation of what are the uh, loopholes that uh, maybe hackers can um, penetrate. For one to enter the uh, information security profession, uh, ethical hacking is definitely a entry point. Um, from ethical hacking, one can move into penetration testing. Uh, a great demand for penetration testing, but there's a big difference between ethical hacking and penetration testing, although they're very complementary. In an ethical hack, what we're looking at doing is we're looking at breaking into the system just for the sake of breaking into the system. This is why it's a great entry-level program. So the reality is, is that we live in a certification uh, profession. You can't just come off the street and expect to get a, a job in a, a top company without having certifications. You can get people who have a lot of hacking experience, but unless they have that piece of paper behind it, uh, they're going to be put on this stack versus the CEH who's going to be put on this stack. And this is the stack that's going to be looked at first. The trainer, he has been amazing and he's got lots of um, good examples and experiences that he can refer to as he is teaching the course. The key advantage of the IT Governance CEH course is that by the end of the week you'll have hands-on knowledge. We do provide enough resources to pass the exam and to get certified, but we do primarily transfer information to the uh, delegates so that they're able to do the job immediately following the course. The starting salary in information security uh, is uh, on average higher than most professions. That's because the demand is greater. Uh, there's a big need for certified ethical hackers and for other uh, information security professionals. Uh, you can grow into those other professions by starting with a CEH.